So my next project is to see if I can pull this off, view A, which is going to be right about at the knee. Um, I'm probably going to lengthen it to hit right below the knee. I want to make this in an Ankara fabric, and so I'm making view A. So I have it here laid out on the table, one size. So I'm gonna do one size at the top, and then I'm gonna merge to a different side, a different size at the waist, meaning a larger size. On the pattern, here's the waist. What I need to do is find my waist on this pattern, and instead of um, ironing that out, I go to my sloper. So this is the this is the side front, and here is the front. So first thing I'm going to do is find the shoulder seam on the garment at five eighths of an inch. Three, four, five. So I'll mark that out. Three, four, five. So that way I know where to lay this pattern at for the front. So here is my seam allowance. And I'm going to go about right there. So we can that shoulder down. Now, here we go. So let me slide this so that you can see it. So here is the garment's waistline. Here is my waistline. So what I'm going to do is on the grain line, I am going to mark my waist, because this, this is a um, tapered waistline. And so whenever I look on looking at this pattern the difference is about one and a quarter inch so that's the only change I'm going to make right now well that and I'll probably do some waist adjustments depending on what's here at the waist so at the waistline we have 16 18 22 39 so the smallest measurement is 33 the largest measurement is 39 and now I'm going to look for the finished garment number to see if that is on any of my patterns. It's not. So the first thing I need to do is I'm going to take the waist and I'm going to raise it up an inch and a quarter on all my pieces. Then I'm going to measure the circumference of the waist to figure out where I need to be. I just wanted to show you kind of like how I use my sloper to kind of estimate the types of changes I need to make to my pattern. Hello sewing friends, Shanice here, and I just wanted to show you the muslin. Um, I actually added the facing to the muslin because I wanted to see kind of where um, where this would end once I put the facing on uh, for the neck portion and for the sleeve. And as you can see, it's a, I don't know what this kind of sleeve is called, but it, you know, comes off the shoulder a little bit. And so here is the princess seam, which is running where it should be. And then it looks like here's a pleat here, but this is actually part of the princess seam because it's a flared skirt at the bottom. Um, there's a piece in here. It's on the pattern. It's called the dicky. Um, and what you're supposed to do is once you make this insert here, you're supposed to put snaps. So you put snaps um, down the left and right side and so when you put it on you put the snap in um, I don't know what the purpose of that <laughs> I don't know the purpose of having the snaps versus um, just sewing it in I mean I probably wouldn't want outside stitching to go along here how, how do you like this fabric <laughs> with the whole panther uh, what is this bear no bears this is called the what is this fabric team the Baylor Bears, I don't know what team that is, but their mascot is a bear. So that is kind of what's going on right here. So what I would probably do to be able to wear this sword is I would um, make the dicky longer um, because it is a triangle on the inside here. Um, but I would probably make it longer so that it can come up some and cover up 
of the flesh, the boob flesh that is showing. Um, I, I, so let's go down to the bottom. Um, so I took an inch and a half, an inch and a quarter to bring the waist up. Um, I think I'm going to probably add, let me back up some. Um, this is hitting me right above the knee. So I think I'm going to add three inches to this. But I think, yes, I think adding three inches to the hem is going to be uh, what I need to do. So, um, probably would like to make this in something that has black, um, because right now my jackets uh, are black to wear over it, because I do not want to wear shirt sleeves now that we are going into winter. So, let me show you the side. There's left side, um, the underarm area, the back. Hold on, oh, here we go. I think I'm getting it. So this is the muslin, I'm glad that I made it. It was very fun to make too. Um, it's just sewing all the panels together and then you have the dicky and the facing and, and that is it. Not too much else is going on with it. But if I was into uh, Baylor Bears, I'd wear this skirt out and about. Maybe I'll just save it to wear during the summer. Save it, wear it out when I'm out camping. Okay, so that's, uh, I'm not going to make any other adjustments. Um, I don't, let me see here. Um, nope, I'm not going to make any adjustments here because then it will just highlight areas that I don't want it to. I don't see any reason for me to make any other changes anywhere. Um, I think this is absolutely perfect. I love the fit. So here she is on a dress form. I feel like when I glance at it, it's like some type of fruit growing on them, but unfortunately, they are bear paws. <laughs> so here is the dicky piece. I wanted to show you for uh, the piece. So this is Vogue 9292 and it's very, very, very easy to make. You're supposed to snap, add snaps on the bottom and then two snaps on the left and two snaps on the right. So what I will probably do, here's a fold line right here. Um, and then the dots to, let me back out some, hold on back out. Here we go. And here's the dots to do the start and stop. And so that's kind of where it would go so yeah so I just put it in any kind of way so I would definitely want it up further and now that I look at it mm, I think that'll be fine I think I'm looking at the bottom right there yeah so I would definitely so that's kind of how hot I would probably want the front so me doing the muslin is probably just too too low Let me put that behind Find me. Um, so I think I, I love this neckline. I find it very, very um, feminine, very attractive. Uh, here we have over here the sleeves with the facing. Very nice sleeve. In the back, um, I will put um, an invisible zipper, but this is just how much room I need it to get it over my head. Um, princess seams going down the back. I do like how it's it's tapered on on the sides and uh, other than that just need to make it a little bit longer and uh, I'm gonna have we'll be we'll be good to go and um, I'm actually wondering if I were to extend this whatever sleeve this is called extend this sleeve to make it longer Hmm, mm -mm -mm. let's see. Okay, so I'm looking at my book, and so it's telling me, so if the bodice is right here, and then you can add, add a quarter inch, add a quarter inch, is that what it's saying? I have to read the instructions. And then you can extend it out to a sleeve that's the back and then here's the front 
You see how that kind of works? Let's look on this other page. Yep. This is a pattern drafting book. Yeah, so one piece combinations. That's cute. Um, yeah, that's, that is not cute. I don't know why somebody would want to wear something that looks like that. <laughs> so I think I'm going to make it as is in the fabric that I have now. And then I'm going to get some more muslin. Um, not more, yeah. And I'm going to see uh, what it looks like if I extend that and add a, add a, go from a cap sleeve to a kimono sleeve. So it would definitely be taking this so rounding this out and then taking this, um, I probably won't have to add that quarter, that quarter inch because we're not going from here. Um, we're going from here and out. So I will do that on paper and see how that looks. And then, then I can make more of the, these dresses for the winter time. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. Friday night, ain't no telling where we are.
What are your thoughts? Let me know. Thank you.